So you want to get high, huh? I'm not even talking about anything specific. No drug or behavior. It doesn't have to be problematic. But you want to get high. I do. Most of us do, most of the time. Want to get high, that is. Many of us do get high a lot of the time. And again, I'm not speaking any specific drug or behavior. Just the process of getting high. So what does that mean? Getting high, by my working definition here, is to engage in a behavior or consumption that activates a chemical release within the body of the body's own endogenous chemicals that creates a feeling that is desirable or desired in the moment. So it could be euphoria or pain relief or excitement, adrenaline, um, whatever it is. Doesn't doesn't matter what the drug is. Doesn't matter what the behavior is that triggers that drug. Just the idea that we want to get high. Essentially, we want to feel better than we do currently. Now, we might feel good now, but we could always feel better. We might feel bad now, then we'd want to feel better. Either way, doesn't matter what you're feeling right now, something inside of you is saying, I want to get high. Only it's not using that terminology, because if it was, you'd have a, a, an easier conversation with yourself. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, this is an exercise of increasing awareness and intentionality. I was gonna mention that at the beginning, I don't think I did. Um, so, this all originated for me this morning as I had a moment, something triggered me, and I thought, I'd like to get high right now. And again, it doesn't matter what the context is, so I'm not even going to give details. We can do these things. We, we have this experience throughout the day. A lot of times we're unaware of it, and it happens across the board on different types of behaviors and activities and substances and foods and everything. And we don't necessarily put it into the context of, I want to eat that cupcake because I want to get high. Or I want to drink that beer because I want to get high. I want to watch, binge watch 16 episodes of this show because I want to get high. We're not thinking about it in that context. But for this thought process exercise, this awareness exercise, let's think about it in that context. So say you see something or you hear something that reminds you of whatever your method of getting high is. And you think, oh, I want to do that now. And maybe it's not the right time. You don't have time. You got to go to work. You got to get something done. Uh, you don't have it in the house, whatever it is that you want. So you are thinking about it. And it's gnawing away at your brain, it feels like. Just this little thing. It's just there, digging in. And maybe you can dismiss it initially, but it hangs out in there. And a little while goes by, and something else. Somebody says something, you see somebody, you hear something, a song, something on the TV, you're in the store, you see something there, whatever it is, another moment happens that stimulates that thought. Now you're thinking about it some more. Now you're thinking about it more and more and more, and you feel it. You're starting to feel the craving welling up inside of you, this energy, this restlessness to do this thing. And what do you do? What's wrong with getting high? What, what stops you? What's wrong with the behavior? Maybe nothing. Again, I said this, this isn't just about problematic things. It could be anything. It's just becoming aware of the stimulus for the thought and then dwelling on the thought or deciding, making the choice, do we act on the thought or not? That's what this is for. So you're, you're sitting there feeling this energy welling up inside of you which it, it, it's, or maybe like, depending on if this is part of a routine behavior or not if it's an addiction or not um, will will impact how severe this is and to what extent dopamine is involved but dopamine is a chemical in the brain that responds to uh, it's, it's an element of the the reward center so there's when we do something that when the brain wants an action taken and you take that action it might release some dopamine when the brain experiences an action 
that seems positive and beneficial to its survival or existence, it might release some dopamine um, to encourage that behavior to repeat. So dopamine is gonna be involved with motivating us to repeat a behavior, repeat an action. And so when the event occurs, dopamine is released. And then when the event is anticipated, dopamine is released. And then when the event occurs again, dopamine is released. So part of this welling up of energy, a welling up of uh, uh, the restlessness, I'm using this restlessness feeling. I think you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. You feel, you, 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 you see it, you think it, you get the idea, I'm gonna, I wanna do this thing. And then something tells you, something tells you not right now, or no, you can't do that, or society looks down on that, or if you do that, you're a, a, a worthless person. All these judgments from external things and from ourselves that uh, maybe don't serve a real purpose, but we've learned them, we've ingrained them, we've adopted them. That stuff comes in and, and tells you no. And, but it doesn't stop that feeling. Because the physiological response to the stimulus, to the trigger, is to make it happen, to get you there. And so the dopamine's flowing, and you feel that, and it's engaging different systems within the body in order to try and make that thing happen, especially if you're in the, in the process of addiction, because that's what happens. When this occurs, then this occurs. And so what we're doing is we're trying to say, when this occurs, before this can occur, let's stop. What's in between? Your brain. That was fun. That wasn't planned. I just came up with that right there. So when stimulus to response, the thing in between that is your head, your brain, you. You're in between that. And so what we're trying to do is increase awareness between those two steps so that we can say stimulus happened and now I want to get high for whatever reason with whatever method. But for some reason, it's either not the time or place or I don't want to or somebody told me I shouldn't. Whatever, whatever the reason of not just going through with it is, maybe you're just simply trying to take more control over your life. And again, this could be something that's not bad. Uh, it could be eating, and maybe not. You know, if it's it's we can crave food that's not uh, necessarily good for us, but isn't also like really bad for us. I'm eating a couple of M and M's right now. Um, very small amount compared to the amounts that I would consume in one sitting in the past. And I've gotten myself to the point where um, I will have six or seven peanut M&Ms now, and that's the only sugar I'm going to eat today, give or take. I mean, like some of the mild little elements in the food that I'm eating, but um, for the most, I'm not eating like if you, know, you see, get into the added sugars element. I'm not eating a lot of extra added sugars. It's more than I'd, I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to get through the day with not eating any M&Ms, but. Um, in the, I wanted them badly right now, so I'm eating them and I, I have them. Um, but you know, so I, I decided that in, in between stimulus and response, I decided that this was okay. I, I'm intentionally doing it. I thought about it. I said, well, if I eat these M&Ms now, I'm not going to eat that piece of caramel later um, that I, I want to eat. That's at my house, and I'm not going to be there for hours yet, and uh, I don't want to wait that long to eat some sugar. So I'm eating these now, but I'm intentionally doing this. So I would. I would like to not eat any sugar in this form today, but I'm I'm doing it now, and I would have probably eaten the caramel later, but I didn't yesterday, so I don't think I didn't eat any. I don't think I had any M and M's yesterday, and I didn't eat a caramel yesterday, so um, that was a success. But we made crepes, and uh, so I got some fruit sugar, and I whipped some cream, but put a little bit of real maple syrup in it for sweetener, so it wasn't very sugary. Um, but anyway, these are little elements. Any, I don't know. I'm off. Is there a topic? I w you want to get high. I want to get high. We want to get high. So increasing our awareness, something that can stop us. And so I didn't just, I didn't mindlessly go and grab a handful of M&Ms and then eat them all in one shot. I purposefully decided, yeah, I'm going to eat these right now. And here's why. And here's why I'm okay with it, even though, you know, I'd like to not, but it, it's okay or whatever. But I did it with intention. And I increased my awareness to what I was feeling and what I wanted to feel. And I'm experiencing it slow, slow down instead of just going grab and, and chow down. Instead of just, like I was telling somebody about this earlier, um, I used to, when I would um, 
I'd go out and cut firewood in the summer and it's hot and I'm cutting trees and sweating and I'd, I would get a couple bottles of Gatorade with me uh, usually um, when I would do that because I like to drink Gatorade and I'm in the, and, you know, back then I was in the mindset, oh, Gatorade, refreshing and uh, replenishing whatever. Now I know it's a sugar and so I don't drink this stuff anymore. And not even sugar. It would be great if it was just sugar. It's worse than just sugar because it's not real sugar anymore. Real sugar is bad enough. Whatever. Um, no offense, Gatorade. Still tastes good, but I, I'm not going to drink it anymore. Um, but <laughs> the point being that I would drink it when I'm out there sweating and everything, and I would chug the whole bottle. I just paid two bucks for this thing. It's full of sugar and, and flavor, and I'm buying it because I like the way it tastes, but then I'm drinking the whole thing without even tasting it. And you look at a dog when they scarf down, you know, grab some food and eat it and swallow it. You think, would they even taste it? Um, you know, and, and so... Sometimes we, that's a mindless kind of thing. I would refer to that as mindless, not mindful. So I decided somewhere along the line, I became mindful of that. My awareness increased, and I thought, I'm wasting the money on this Gatorade. I'm buying it for the taste, and I don't even spend the time to taste and enjoy it. So that, that was like one of those things with uh, Scarlett O'Hara as God is my witness. Um, I will never chug Gatorade again because if I'm thirsty and I need something to drink, water serves the purpose. If I want to the flavor if I want to get high do it with intentionality do it with purpose drink the thing sip it taste it experience it so that's part of this part of the element here so like depending on what it is that you're you want to get high from or what purpose you want to get high for if you can increase your awareness about why it is you want to do it what you want to do and what you hope to get out of it and then do it with intentionality do it with mindfulness experience it enjoy the experience don't just you know, maybe getting high is just the experience. I mean, maybe you just want to be drunk, so drink those beers as fast as you can and get drunk. Um, you know, may, it, but if if it's you know if if it's one to enjoy the experience and do it slowly, then maybe um, by increasing your awareness about that, it'll allow you to. Maybe you don't want to chug those beers, but that's what your pattern of behavior is. So maybe increasing your awareness there can can help you to slow that down a little bit. So now you're not chugging them. Maybe you're drinking them, you're tasting them. And you can still get to that point, but do it a little bit slower with more purpose and be aware of it. What does it taste like? What does it feel like as I'm step by step? So again, we're slowing down the distance or the time it takes to get from stimulus to response all along that process. We're putting the head in the way, putting the brain in the way um, and so forth. I don't know. I guess that's it. I ran out of uh, things here. So this is one of those things where I thought this could be a good uh, conversation. I know how to get started. I don't know where I want to go. So I'm increasing my awareness about creating videos and preparing thoughts. <laughs> so that's what I got. Uh, if you want to get high, it's all good. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with wanting to get high. How you get high, that's the thing you want to be aware of. And again, not really anything wrong, universally wrong with what you use to get high. Um, other people might disagree with that, but for you, I mean, you wouldn't if you didn't you didn't like it, you probably wouldn't do it, right? Increase your awareness on that. Um, something you get something out of it, but uh, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know what my point was, but if you, again, increase awareness, increase intentionality, uh, the outcome will be beneficial, I believe. Thanks for watching, and uh, bye.